being a superiority regulator goes all the way up to 160 bar at 150 bar I'm getting an average of 889 feet per second with the ES of 5 and a standard deviation of 1.4 when I raised it all the way up to 165 bar I was able to achieve a low of 906 and a high of 915 with an average of 909 ES of 8 and a standard deviation of 2.87 but I'm looking to be shooting JSB Kings at around 925, 930 so I'll air it up and run a 10 round clip at where it is now and then run another 10 round clip when the other plume shows up in a day or so as a comparison okay here's a 10 shot string I'm about to do with the air superiority regulator set at his max at 165 That's a 10 shot group. That's pretty close. I'm sure I could get a little bit more, but I'm only trying to tune it for 10 power shots. It should be quite a bit more when I get the larger plume. I forgot to run the numbers through as a review. So here we go. There you go. I'm quite sure I can tighten up the ES a little bit with a little play with the hammer spring. But uh, that'll be done at a later time. As for now, I'm good the way it is. But I'll see how when I get the bigger plume, how well it does. My goal is to use a bigger plume to be able to dial it down to shoot the JSB 25 at 920 but then also be able to crank it up and shoot the 34 grains at about the same speed then I'll be happy okay here we go the 30 cow plume showed up so I'm gonna switch them out for 
with the other one designed for this 177, 22, and 25 and see if I can get the numbers that I want and be able to back it off of the 165 bar that I have now on the regular one to get 920. I want to be able to achieve 920 at 150 bar and still have room to if I want to push heavier pellets like the 34 JSB or CUDAs and still get the same numbers. So it's all been taken apart already and I'm getting ready to hook them up. It's a pretty simple design. Regulators are very nicely made as you can tell. Everything's nice and machined and tight looking. Okay, here's a better view of the different lengths and the plumes. I believe it's a gain of about a half inch difference for the one for the 30 cal. And looking at this design, the way they designed it for the Ivonics, this front piece right here fits into the natural plume that's there so you're kind of losing a little bit the reason why I wanted to go with the 30 cal plume to make up for how they designed this to fit inside of this natural plume and it takes away from it so the extra volume of the plume will make up for what I am trying to achieve here's a close up of the Huma regulator from air superiority starts at about 82 bar and it goes all the way up to 165 bar which is good versus the Alturas only goes to 150 so you have much more room to play with and from the looks of it is much more better designed and as you can see that little line there, you should be able to see it, it's kind of hard. I'll try to turn it to the side, but you can barely see it. I have it just a hair shy of 165 bar to achieve the numbers I was trying to achieve. But like I said, I want the bar to be set at 150. So hence the reason why for the bigger plume designed for the 30 cal to give me more room for when I want to go to heavier pellets and like I said all I'm looking for is 10 power shots with a low ES because this gun is primarily used for hunting not plinking otherwise I'd keep the regular um, plume that came with it, designed for the 17, 22, and 25, and turn it down to 850, which is a decent plinking speed, and get 20 shots, but that's not the purpose for what I'm doing. Okay, here we go running 10 shot group with the new longer plume in the Vonix Rainstorm 25.
That's ten shots. <clears throat> okay, here we go with another ten shot string from the Vonix Rainstorm with the Huma regulator. Ten shot group. Okay, these are the final numbers I got. Ten shot string. Even though I get up to 15 shots, I'm basing these numbers, the ES and the SD, on just 10 of the shots. Not bad. I think it could be a little bit better, but I didn't feel like breaking the gun apart and taking the rig out and dropping it more or messing with a, a weaker spring. So I'll leave that for now. It's not bad. I went ahead and shot five more shots just to see when it would drop off of the rig. And we got down to 15 shots at 9.24. I think nine, uh, the 16th shot dropped down to 9.09. So that let me know it was really off of the rig. So it's not bad. Some of the shots I kind of rushed. And maybe that's why I got that freak number there on number 6 at 9.24. Mess with my ES and SD, but I mean, you can't, it ain't that bad. Okay, this is a 100 yard group I did after installing the Huma regulator. I eventually dropped it back down to 9.24 feet per second average and drop the regulator back down to about 155 it seemed to shoot a little bit better there because the rainstorm has that short barrel so anyway my first couple of shots as you can see went high I was using an old range card so I was relying on there and then I dropped back down to here as you can see these shots here, here, going across here had to do with the wind. But once I took my time and and waited and paused in between the wind, I was basically, this is about a 15 shots right here in this circle, smaller than a quarter. At the time we had gusting winds about 7 miles an hour from two different directions with swirls or shooting in a avocado field so swirls coming in between the trees was really playing havoc with uh, the groups but this is not bad at all right there I couldn't complain 